My name is Cruz Mead. I'm James Blauser. Cindy Sai. My name is Isaiah Lewis. My name is Isha Amin. My name is Ty Jackson. Helena Emhoff. My name is Will Spar. I'm in the Hack and Nurse Aid program. The program's for a CNA, which is a certified nurse assistant. So I'm not a nurse, I'm a nurse assistant. So I'll help nurses and do all of their dirty work pretty much. <laughs> participating in the Kinsley Pre-Apprenticeship this year. I'm doing math and blueprint reading right now and I do it on a computer and through some books and then next year once I enroll in the actual Kinsley then that's the apprenticeship class. I'm participating in dual enrollment and I'm taking my classes at Harrisburg Area Community College. I thought it would be a good opportunity to like get a head start and, uh, for college. Because I heard like some people could earn enough credits to like skip like a whole like first year and go into their sophomore year of college like right off the bat. Well, I take it virtually. So uh, it's like a weekly thing. Every week there's like a lesson or two and you have to take notes on it. And then at the end of the week, there's a test. There was a course that I saw. It was medical terminology and I thought that it would help. Well, I have three periods here, and then after that I go home and then do take the course, and that's pretty much it. It's at York Tech, and we do like auto technician, like we work on cars and learn what we're what we're supposed to do in the real world. We use ratchets, we use wrenches, do oil changes, and basically everything you'd need on a car, we do it. We have one student that never worked on cars in his life in the class, and it. It's amazing how much he's learned so far. It's just wow. I'm here for the Pulse program in Hershey. We actually leave early, right after fifth period, and we drive up to Hershey. We go through lectures for about an hour and then do PBLs, which is like problem-based learning, where we go through a situation with a, like a hypothetical patient and we try to diagnose them and figure out stuff about their condition. I am doing an online course or I will become certified to be a phlebotomy technician. I want to become a physician's assistant, so doing this program will allow me to have patient contact hours. Mr. Gould had approached me about it and had told me a little bit about it, and then Mr. Probert talked to me about it, and it sounded like it was a good program to be involved in. I am participating in the work release program, and that allows me to work on other things that will let me get ahead in my future um, during school hours. So basically, I'm at school from 7.35 till 11.16, and then I go, I either film, um, I film weddings, commercials, um, anything really, and then, or I'll be editing that and sending it out to the client. By the end of this program, I wanna be able to teach myself different business techniques that I can uh, use to get more clients and different film techniques to spice up videos and make them more interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get a job in the nursing field as a CNA. So I'm hoping to get work release coming up, get a job, and make $14, $15 an hour in high school. Next step would be pretty much graduating this year. Always I'm hoping to graduate and then go into the apprenticeship class. I took the computer science class because I was leaning towards that uh, type of major in college. And so I thought it would be like a good way to like, learn more about that kind of field. Yeah, I would recommend it because, I mean, you can earn college credits while you're in uh, high school. And even if you don't want to go to hack, like I don't plan on going to hack after I graduate from high school, but I can transfer those credits and then like save some money at another uh, school. When I come out of tech, I get my inspection license and I'm planning on entering workforce right after high school. Yeah, I definitely think that this has solidified my uh, goal of becoming, hopefully in the pre-med track, going to medical school. I feel like by the end of my senior year, the, this program is gonna have a big impact on my future just because it's letting me get so many opportunities that I wouldn't have if I was in school for the full day. After high school, I'm hoping to 
use my certification from this phlebotomy course and get patient contact hours and then attend a college that has a physician assistant program.